Hi YouTubers, I'm here today to show you this pond boat. This is a cedar boat, I'd say it probably dates to around the early part of the 1900s. It's made as I said of cedar and it's of dugout type construction. I bought this yacht, well, I don't know, probably 10 years ago now, just as a, a bare hull. Anyway, I'll get closer to it so you can get a better idea of what it's all about. Now, this uh, hull's fairly original. Uh, the white paint, I'd say, is original. And it's made out of a very nice lump of cedar. The red piece at the bottom is the lead keel, so it's quite significant. I really didn't have to do too much to the hull when I got it. It was just missing its um, sails and a bit of its rigging, so I just had to make the boom and and basically tidy it up. I'll oh, make that little stand there which I made out of cedar a while ago. Give you an idea on what it looks like from the front. I'm not really sure if this boat was uh, just a model or it was sailed, but I think it was sailed. The deck appears to be um, a pine of some sort, and as you can see, it's got some sort of worm damage there. I've usually found that sort of damage is consistent with timber that's already been um, milled and you'll find that as a defect in the timber or they might have had a, a a cardboard box or a timber box sitting on it anyway this hull's about um, 725 millimeters long and it's maybe uh, about 225 wide and from the bottom of the keel to the top of the deck it's about I don't know, 330 I think the overall height is uh, 1220 millimetres from the bottom of the keel to the top of the sail. Uh, these sails were made by Dennis McGugan as per usual and uh, they're made out of the correct material and of course they're correctly made. Anyway, I'd figure this pretty much shows this hole here in enough detail. I can't think of anything else that's pertinent to this one that I should mention. So I guess that's about it, folks, as, as they say in the movies.